They are cute, they are cuddly, and they have been given a second chance at life. Yeah, they're a re team of rescue huskies. They're making up a Australian sled dog tours team. This snow season, these alpine canines have received some really unlikely new additions to their member. It may look like Canada, and feel like the Arctic. But this picture-perfect landscape is Australia's very own Mount Buller. Just three hours' drive from Melbourne, it's a snow escape like no other. And while most ski and some snowboard, there's one activity that offers a truly unique experience. <laughs> It's dog sledding. And Brett has got just the right amount of dog power for the job. We've got a lot of dogs. We've got about 40. We've got a few alphas, um, amigas, beaters, and uh, you name it. They've all got names. They've all got personalities. Everyone's different. They're not all the same. Um, and they all look different. These dogs are pretty special. 80% of them have been rescued and thankfully given a second chance at life. Basically all these huskies come from the backyards of Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane, uh, Adelaide, all around the country and they would have been put down if they didn't find a home. We've given them that a home, we've given them a good food and also a work ethic. But what makes up the other 20%? I guess you can call them the cute and cuddly accidents. These little guys here are our little puppies and next winter they're going to be running on the big team. We're not into breeding. It was an accident. It was my stupid fault. I turned around and I just didn't do sex them in time. But anyway, it's a happy uh, mistake. <laughs> but this snow season is a special one, with one dog in particular that stands out from the pack. Oi! 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 This guy here is named Dusty. He's the red kelpie. He's, he's the failed sheep and cattle dog. Uh, he didn't really work out on the farms, but um, here with Australian Sled Dog Tours, we've, he's got his new job. Dusty come to my hands from a lady named Jenna, who um, picked him up from a lady that left him on the lead um, for three or four days without water and food. And she felt that was pretty bad. And then I didn't want Dusty at that time. I didn't want him. I didn't need Dusty. I already had Huskies to look after. That's why. That's what we do. But I've come to like him. I've come to love him. He's, he's, he's one of our babies now. And uh, he's all part of the team. And while Dusty doesn't sound and definitely doesn't look like a Husky, he is built for the job. And believe it or not, he leads the team. Let's go. Give him. Dusty, up. Good boy. You want to go to work? Come on, let's go. Come on. Dusty picked up like that. Well, just overnight, practically, um, within a couple of days, he's running with the team. He's, he had it genetically. He had, he had, he, he knew as a good working dog. These Australian uh, red kelpies, they can do anything if you train them to. Not even the freezing temperatures could face him. He's got a little jacket on, and we take it off him now and then if he runs, if he wants it off. Uh, we've got booties for him. He keeps kicking the booties off but, uh, and chews them, but anyway, he doesn't want the booties, but he's happy, as you can see. Dusty is certainly doing his breed proud, finding a special place in the team and in Brett's heart. Oh, he, he is. He's one of the best. I would say probably the best in the country. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.